Evening all. It's Monday evening, so I've had a few days off from the camera. And uh, as you can see, in the last few days, since last Thursday, I've actually been busy in here. Um, I want to go get something to eat, and it's pissing it down. Look at that weather. It's horrible. Yeah, um, stepdad was going to come up today, but... Uh, we were sorting his workshop out yesterday and making some more room and th threw out about five sacks of trash. I ain't kidding. <laughs> and uh, I've got a box of bits under the bed that he let me have and a bunch of electronic bits as well before he sold all his old railway gear. Um, so I thought I'd uh, spend the day <coughs> shifting more stuff from here rather than just wait till the morning when my brother got here. I thought I might as well, instead of sitting here on my ass doing nothing, I thought I might as well do something. So I did this. I've got a bloody great dead house spider down here. He's been dead for a while. I don't. I just found him actually along along that board somewhere there. He was dead. <coughs> So, it's just like he crawled in, crawled under there, and just died for some reason. I'm going to get a piece of wood and reinforce this, and I'm hoping it's going to go all the way across. So I've already got trim like the end off. Because for some reason I didn't put a support in there. I did the cross one in there, and there deliberately. As you can see I didn't cut the... <laughs> I thought it's out of sight, who cares? No one can see it. I put a couple of braces in in the corners there. Although I didn't make this one square because that bit is a bit twisted. Which I suppose if I really wanted to I could take some screws out and realign it but as you can see the wood is shit. That's why I don't stand on this table. <laughs> But yeah, stepdad gave me a few bits and bobs, some drills, cordless drills. I got my mains drill back. I don't really need, but uh, and some electronic bits, like some offcuts of uh, that LED tape you can get in spools. Um, some of it is red and white, and some of red and white, red and blue. Sorry, and some of it is white. Because he uses red and blue on the algae scrubbers he makes, and he had red and blue on his marine fish tank at the old house. But uh, I've actually used some of the white, I'll show you that in a minute. But uh, the lounge is nearly cleared, I might clear a bit more, or I might just say assholes to it and finish it tomorrow. Well, my brother's here while my stepdad's uh, finishing the paintwork through there. Because uh, I think tomorrow all he, all that will do is just get the paint on the ceiling. But uh, I can do a bit more sanding. There's some clips I can pull out of the wall. I'll move my pony cuddlies myself later. Or in the morning, it doesn't matter. Yeah, busy, but uh, we'll see the bedroom. The coffee table that was in there is also in the bedroom. I moved that through here so um, one, it's one less table to move around in here and two, it's um, <coughs> excuse me, storing a bunch of stuff. I didn't want to put too much in this corner because then I wouldn't be able to see the TV at all. It's going to be bad enough with that and that in the way. A bollard and stereo. Well there's all my Lego. All of it is now up this corner. Um, obviously much of this will go in the other room. There's a lot of that LED stuff I was talking about. This is all um, red and blue stuff up here. But that's what I've put the white LEDs in. I've taken the emergency light circuits out. Because obviously I'd have to have it turned technically turned on all the time. And it would only work if the power went off. And I didn't want that. I wanted it as like a novelty decorative lamp so I took all that out 
put a switch in the bottom here, as you can see, a little toggle switch. Well, you would see if I actually uh, had it in shot. But this cable that's going to run right up to that corner somewhere, wherever the socket is going to go. I don't know where I'm going to put the eight way yet. It's going to go some of that. I wanted it running that way on the wall, but because I'm going to have the shelves up there, I'm pretty certain I'm not going to be able to do that. But I could. I could mount it on this wall, I suppose, that way along. Hmm. Or even under the cabinet in the back. I don't know. I'll find somewhere to put it where it's out of the way. But yeah, can't show you that yet because I haven't got a 12 volt adapter at hand to uh, power it up. It does look quite nice. It's not, you know, super duper bright, but I did do it as a decorative piece. And that's the other thing I did today. Stuck this on. Just made myself jump because I didn't expect to click it. <laughs> oh, we've got a bit of thunder. Yeah, this is a metal lamp switch, and as such, if you're going to install one, got to be earthed. Now, usually, there'll be an earth wire just loose in the back here somewhere, so it wouldn't be a problem to change these, but some houses may not have it there. So you may end up having to run a separate earth wire. But it's got to be there because if anything happens with the mechanism in this switch or the wire comes off the back or whatever, that could become live. But with the earth wire there, it will trip out the breaker. So that's why it's got to be earthed. Anyway, I've got a few bits in the kitchen I need to clear. I've got some blocks of wood I need to cut out here all measured or drawn out and measured so I've just got cut them. There's not a lot in here I'm going to move out. I'll get the clean stuff there put away, get the rest of the washing up done. That lot on the cooker I'll put in the bedroom. Um, the record player and the printer I'm going to leave there and the George Foreman but the rest of that crap I'll clean off. Because uh, there's no wall underneath there to paint, so I thought I might as well just leave it. You know, just throw a towel or something over my uh, record player. I don't give a shit about the old printer, but that record player I'll cover up. Um, get those boxes down up that corner. <coughs> Excuse me. My throat's getting a little bit dry, I think. It's like my third attempt at the video. Uh, I'll move that out of the way. I think the only glossing that's got to be done up there is the pipe and that bit of wood. So I'll have to move the coats tomorrow. Yeah. Stepdad's got a bad knee at the minute. He's got water on the knee and it's um, extremely painful. But according to Mum, he said he's coming up tomorrow no matter what. So <laughs> I do feel bad because I don't want him, you know, to strain his knee, you know, and be in ultimate pain because of me. If he doesn't want to do it, then I'm not going to make him. <laughs> I'm not going to hold it against him. Right. I don't think I've uh, missed anything, so I'm going to shut the camera down and I will talk to you all again tomorrow once we've done what we've got to do. Right. It's now Tuesday. It's thundering outside and it's taken out my power. I don't have no power at the minute. Da, 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 da. But this lounge is almost done. Tomorrow, it's just that wall's got to have a third coat and a glossing on the um, woodwork and that is it. So, when I get power back on, <laughs> This will be my temporary place for the computer, which I'll dismantle before I go to bed and stick some paint on once I've just sanded where I filled. Because I had to do a bit of a, some repair work. That's what I was looking for. I need this thing. That's the last cable to attach. And it's just in case I plug everything in, which isn't any point at the minute. Because, uh, I've got no juice. <laughs> Don't 
Told you. I don't know what it is with this particular screw, but this is actually the first time it's happened in a thunderstorm. Let's put that end in there. And this end. Into. Yeah, I'll find a bloody socket. One more adapter, I can't remember where I put it. One more power adapter for the um, modem. And I have got to pop to QDs because I do want the tin of paint. Turning it that way for a minute. There. Found a bit of Lego. What? Ow! Why am I not surprised? Uh, what one's plugged in? No one's plugged in, right. I'll use that one for now then. So, I need... I've just got no juice to bloody run it. <laughs> yeah. The gloss work along there is all done. All up there. I'm working up a sweat. I'm getting hungry as well. It's not knocked the town out because I can see the post office is still lit up over here and the crossing beacons are still flashing. Well, it's just this road has got a reputation for losing power at random. Hence why I have those and batteries for battery operated radios for that specific reason. I can hang my coats back up. Ah, want that. Got to go on my bike downstairs. Right, so I thought I would just uh, turn you on the I'll proof. There's a light switch. Flickered on and off several times and now it's just gone off and not bothered coming back on. So I don't know if the substation on our road has been hit or the substation that does our area has been hit or what. But uh, as soon as I get power back, I will turn the camera back on and update you in better light. So I'll talk to you in a bit, hopefully. I just turned the camera on to show you a little DIY trick I'm using at the minute. It's the first time I've used this, but I've seen it suggested several times. I can't drill into this wall, or I couldn't, because I can't get dust. I've got a little bit on there, but I'll clean off. 
Um, can't get dust on the gloss. So I'm using this trick. <laughs> Little uh, envelope taped to the wall right below where you've got to drill. And uh, it's actually kept about 99% of the dust off. I've got a funny feeling I'm going to have to Nope, don't have to. Yeah, power's on as you can see. It did flick off once and then came pretty much straight back on, so maybe there was an issue and they had to reset the system, I don't bloody know. Right. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sit you over here, I think. So you can actually see me uh not well, that you may not want to, but See the, uh, the next shelf up. I've got one more to do after this. And then, I can think about getting the, um... Crap. Double crap. <laughs> you, you always forget something. shelf a nice dust. I just thought instead of sitting on my ass at the computer doing nothing I could get what I can put back on the wall. Trust me. It is bloody awkward doing this on your own. I'm going to do, I'm going to get this screw in. That screw's got to go. There. Some bitch. Right. Let's get another one in there ready. Just zip that in. One in on this end. And in theory. Theory, I'll just drop a screw straight on the bloody floor. I'm looking for screws, not quite bloody. Let's try again, zip this one in, shall we? Longish screws in here that I really want to save. They've got crap heads on as well. I want to save for stuff over on that wall there. So. Another bit of advice as well, if you're working on your own, it's a smidge off, but it's close enough. If you're working on your own, putting a shelf up, before you mark all the holes, mark one where you want your shelf, just sit it on the wall, it hasn't got to be level, just mark it drill it, screw it, and that can act as your third hand while you level it all up and mark your other holes. Right, I've got to go and get the other shelf. 
I'm gonna empty the crap out of there and I'm gonna see if I hope this dust is just gonna get off. Yeah, it's good. Good, it's dried enough. So I don't really need that envelope, but it just saves on the mess, to be honest. It's a good little trick. I just hope the power stays on this time. There. Right. To repeat that. Can't do anything on that wall yet because uh, it needs its third coat. Right. I'm gonna get this plank, this plank on the wall, the shelf on the wall, and I'll be back. I've just been stood here making all sorts of weird noises and hand gestures and that's the look he's given me. <laughs> anyway, it's Thursday evening. It's actually 8.55. I've got bikes to go and lock up, which I'll do in a bit. Um, didn't pick the camera up, well I did pick the camera up yesterday, but um, I want to redo what I did and I just forgot about it because I was getting so bloody tired, but anyway this is going to be the last part for part two I have got my shelves up on this side before I put this table back I want to connect up all my lamps. I'm not going to shorten this cable just so I've got enough there for adjustment. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to screw a connector block at each of these four lamps. Yes, there's four now, not three. Decided to stick the spare one up. And uh, have far two ones on one switch and the two closest on the other switch. <coughs> As far as painting in here goes, that wall's got to have a third coat done tomorrow morning and a gloss along that skirting on the skirting board and then that wall of painting is done in this room as well. Uh, kitchen, I'll just take you into here. I just saw something flash. I haven't heard any thunder, but my lounge light did flicker a minute ago. Anyway, my stepdad, before mum turned up to pick him up, got sort of like a rough first coat on, which hasn't come out too bad, actually. It's a bit how you doing up there, but I think a second it might need a third up there. Obviously, being in a kitchen, it's had, you know, bloody cooking fumes and all sorts of crap on it. From using frying pans. I don't use frying pans or anything anymore, so I'm not worried about that. I will move these boxes. That's fine where it is, although I'm going to cover that. And I think there has been a bit of paint dropped on the front of that, but I will cover that. <clears throat> I'm not really fussed about anything else in here. I've got to reset the clock, it says 7.26, it's really not 7.26. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, turn that one off now. Let me reach behind here. I gave that a fresh coat of paint. <clears throat> because I had to do the end anyway, and I thought I've got the roller in my hand, so I just and the only reason I painted that is because those needed painting, which I did with that tray and a roller. <clears throat> and so did this. Which, at some point, I've got a perfect circle there. Where I had my tub of ice cream. I had an accident where <clears throat> I'd forgotten I'd only put one screw in this top piece of the table. So when I went to turn the desk this end, it just rotated, so I had to sort all that out. 
made a bit of mess, so I filled in the holes I'd made where I'd um, misplaced screws and then just ran over that with some paint as well. So the plan for me, at least tomorrow, <clears throat> once that wall is dry, those two shelves will go on that wall. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I haven't actually decided where I'm going to put them yet. I'll decide that tomorrow. Uh, but all of this had to come off the wall yesterday and those, I've put those back up as well. The extension socket I've got down here, which basically is just an extension so I can run the power supply for these lights. I've clipped that along because I've got no intentions of taking that out or moving it. <clears throat> um, I was going to do that with some extension sockets in the bedroom, but then I thought, no, just in case I do want to change things around, I won't. But uh, yeah, basically once that wall's done and dried and I've got my shelves up, I will start bringing my Lego back through and I can get it stacked on there and I can get all the end up there sorted out and whatnot. <clears throat> Basically, I'm going to have a very busy day tomorrow. But uh, I don't want to put, I could put this table back, but it's going to be a lot easier to wire these lights up. At least those two up there with the table exactly where it is. So I'm going to leave it where it is for now. And hopefully, once I've got this desk back, I can put these shelves back and my bench as well and basically have the lounge back together and about 80% of the flat back together as I want it. It's going to be a few days before I get everything back. Um, still haven't got nowhere with making the shelves for my bedroom, not yet anyway. That's something we've uh, still got to do. I'm going to hold, I could actually put my models on here, but I think first it's going to be easier to move all my storage containers and whatnot before I do that. Possibly I will, I will have another look in there. The other thing I've done, changed the door handles, found these were cleaning out my stepdad's workshop, so I stuck those on. It's only sticky because of the gloss. And I've got everything shut up in here because I'm drying this laundry out. It's been up there all day but it's still damp so I thought if I shut the window, shut the door and turn the rad on, I have just got to touch this in which I'll get a little tiny paintbrush or something just to touch that in. So I literally had to scrape literally about a millimetre of wood off here just to get this end bit in. Well, I thought if I'm going to put the brass handles on, I might as well put the centerpiece in while I was at it, you know. Otherwise it didn't really seem any point in putting the new handles on, so. Where's that other bit? If that's up here, I'll chuck it in the bin. Is it up here? Got door catches and things. I don't know. Actually, give me that. I don't know if it's worth me um, putting this on the door or not. I'll show you what I mean in a second. Because I've got a nice shiny one of these, which would look nice on the door as a bit of door furniture, but I don't really need it. Because uh, right at the top, it's got that like ball bear and that locks into place. You know, so I don't know. It's something I don't need, but I've got these handles to do. I still haven't got round to cleaning the bloody handles up yet. That's why I haven't put them on. I've put them on one cupboard so far. Oh yeah. I think that would actually look nice and would lower the amount of sort of white and cream I've got through here. Got a bit of a drip there. Oh well, and I've actually noticed we've got a spot missing up there. <laughs> a spot missing, a spot missed rather, but I'm not that worried. <clears throat> Heck, I've still got a pot of uh, 
of the emulsion for the sealing through there so if I really want to I'd dunk a brush in there and do it myself um, I'm going to leave this bit here and tomorrow I'll start part three so thanks a lot for watching I hope you're enjoying this little series my little adventure with the flat I have no idea why we call them flats here maybe it's because they're flat rooms that go on <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I will just say, when I put the lights back over there, which I've just realised I'm actually going to have to do before I put the things back, I'm going to use the two long fluorescents I've got, the two 8-watt fluorescents, because I figured they're going to be using actually a little bit less power than the two um, spotlights I had up there, and they're going to spread the light a bit more evenly as well, so I figured I'm going to use both of those. Anyway, you'll see more of that when I get to it tomorrow because I'll have the flat to myself when I'm doing things like that so I can put the camera on. Anyway, I will talk to you all again in the next video. Bye.